Hi guys and welcome to Madrid. AOC and Philips have flown me out here to take a look at some of their new gaming monitors and give us a bit of a, uh, activities uh, tonight and tomorrow. So we'll run through all of that in this video and uh, I also met this guy here. So let's go jump into the monitors, although first order of business for me is actually lunch. So we're now here taking a look at the monitors and we've got three kind of main ones I want to cover. The first one is probably the most interesting. It's probably the one that we've really had the most talk about, which is their new 35 inch 1440p ultra wide that runs at 200 Hertz. It also has display HDR 1000, the, the proper good stuff, and G-Sync HDR, again, the proper full fat G-Sync as well. It's actually a VA panel, and this is actually the only model they have available. It's an engineering sample, so details on pricing and availability are all still to come. So we'll have to wait and see until we actually get it in-house and test it, but I think it'll be a pretty interesting show. The next model I want to talk about, it's actually two models here. It's basically the 27 inch 1440p 165 or 144 Hertz. There's two different models, obviously the different refresh rates, but the main thing is actually the HDR uh, G-Sync model is the 165 Hertz, it's a TN panel, whereas the FreeSync 2, which still does support HDR, is a VA panel and 144 Hertz. These ones are a lot closer to being available. They're actually uh, potentially gonna be on sale relatively shortly with the FreeSync model coming in at about 630 pounds and the G-Sync one coming in at about 720. Otherwise, they should be pretty interesting to take a look at. And again, we'll probably have a review of this at some point and also see how they compare to the pretty big competition they've got. And the last model I wanna cover here is actually a bit of a console gaming option. It's a 4K MVA 32 inch monitor. It's from Philips, it's part of their Momentum line, which is a bit more of the sort of living room gaming type stuff. And this is a kind of, you know, a nice size for, you know, your bedroom or uh, an office desk if you do want to play on consoles. It's got adaptive sync, as I said, it's 4K 60 FPS. Uh, and it's also uh, covers 98% of the DCI-P3 spectrum, which is rather nice too. Being part of the momentum line means that it has rather low input lag, which is great for consoles, especially when compared to most console gaming, which happens on TVs, which really aren't the best. So this will be an interesting one to check out as well, especially if you're into console gaming or even just slightly bigger 4K displays. And there are actually a whole load of other displays from both Philips and AOC, including a Porsche design one. So if you want to check that out, check out Philips and AOC's website website for more information and all of the press releases and stuff like that. Right, so we've had a look at the monitors, now it's time to go grab some dinner and then some just incredibly exciting stuff tomorrow. But sadly, all good things have to come to an end and it was time to head home. So my original flight was cancelled, but I've been rebooked, so that's all good. And uh, now to head home and uh, get some rest and edit this video.
and we're home. Massive thank you to AOC and Phillips for making this trip happen. If you want to see any more about the monitors, and especially if you want to see reviews of them, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do to get my hands on them. And of course, if you're interested in seeing more sort of vlog style event coverage videos, then also let me know in the comments down below as well. If you want to support the channel, there's all the usual ways in the links in the description. And of course, if you do want to see reviews of those monitors, then hit that subscribe button as well. Otherwise, once again, thank you to Philips for making the trip happen. This isn't a sponsor video, but you know, they paid for all the flights and that sort of stuff. Uh, and otherwise, we'll see you all in the next video.